it's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Genovaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 17, 2020. Ezekiel 47 verses 8 to 12. 8. Then said he unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country, and go down into the desert, and go into the sea. Which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. 9. And it shall come to pass, that everything that leaveth, which moveth, whithersoever the rivers shall come, shall leave. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither. For they shall be healed. And everything shall leave whither the river cometh. 10. And it shall come to pass, that the fishers shall stand upon it from Engadai even unto Eneglaim. They shall be a place to spread forth nets. Their fish shall be according to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea exceeding many. 11. But the miry places thereof and the marishis thereof shall not be healed, they shall be given to salt. 12. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months, because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for me, and the leaf thereof for medicine. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy Wonderful is the work which the Lord designs to accomplish through His Church, that His name may be glorified. A picture of this work is given in Ezekiel's vision of the river of healing. These waters issue out toward the east country, and go down into the desert, and go into the sea. Which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass, that everything that leaveth, which moveth, whithersoever the rivers shall come, shall leave. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months, because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine. Ezekiel 47 verses 8 to 12. From the beginning God has wrought through his people to bring blessing to the world. To the ancient Egyptian nation God made Joseph a fountain of life. Through the integrity of Joseph the life of that whole people was preserved. Through Daniel God saved the life of all the wise men of Babylon. And these deliverances are as object lessons. They illustrate the spiritual blessings offered to the world through connection with the God whom Joseph and Daniel worshipped. Everyone in whose heart Christ abides, everyone who will show forth his love to the world, is a worker together with God for the blessing of humanity. As he receives from the Savior grace to impart to others, from his whole being flows forth the tide of spiritual life. By Ellen G. White Acts of the Apostles, page 13